Phil Furler from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Hey, welcome. Glad to be back. I want to share with you something that's so special with this at the moment. I've called it from India with love. I want to first thank you for all your love, support, prayers. We got back safely. And guess what? I never felt better. Hey Jim, I remember 25 years ago when I first met you. <laughs> we were living in Atlanta and we was preaching down in Atlanta and you were singing that and I was preaching on Isaiah 6. Yeah. Remember, and the place was shaking. Man. <laughs> right. You still got it. Every time I hear it, man, it just still does the same to me. This is for me, that one. <laughs> The main thing is to obey what Jesus has already said. He said, And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, confirming the word with signs and wonders. And everywhere we went, people were hearing for the first time the gospel of the kingdom of God and the power of Jesus. And here we were with another scripture that the Lord had impressed on my mind, and those that sat in darkness saw a great light, and those were abiding, living in the shadow of death. Suddenly, there's a light. There were so many lights that you couldn't see the end of the crowd. But we already had trained leaders that would follow up everyone that were born again by the Spirit of God. And these meetings continued every night, just had to keep moving on. There was so much to do, but it had to be set up in a different place each night. old man living in a 75 year old body but all the time I had to have the wisdom of God to know where I'm operating from because they walked me upstairs to get on the platform but there was such an anointing every time that if it's a powerful anointing it'll change you into another man but when the anointing began to lift, I needed someone to help me down those stairs. And thank God I had to realize who I was and how old I was before I jumped off the platform. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
Thanks for joining us. Hope you join us next week when we continue on from India with love. Remember this, that none of these children would be here if someone hadn't had compassion upon them. They would be dead already, not dressed up like they are somebody. They would have been abused, murdered or whatever on the streets of where we live.